In today's video, we're opening never before seen third party Yu Gi Oh products. What's up, guys? We're back with another never before seen Yu Gi Oh opening, which will contain third party packaged Yu Gi Oh products. So it's a bunch of like actual Yu Gi Oh product made by Konami and everything, upper deck, etc., old school, and then repackaged by some third party. This is often really fun because there are a bunch of old school packs that are unweighed. So you got a good chance of pulling stuff. The only problem is. You know, they're pretty expensive. I also have some other packs to be opened up as we go. I think we have about 20 something packs to open today, so it should be pretty fun. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these five cards right here. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card we pull in this set or your favorite third party product that you see in this video or that you've seen in a previous video or maybe one that I've never done before. If you have a memory of a crazy third party product that was like really awesome to you and like sticks out because it had some really cool packs in it or something, let me know in the comments. And before we get into it, I want to remind you guys to check out Ruxin34.com where I have PSA graded cards, sealed product, etc. All that kind of stuff is on my website. Go check it out. If you buy anything, you're buying directly from me. It supports me. Some of it is consignment, but that is still coming directly from me. I have all the stuff on hand shipping it to you and everything. So go check that out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are working our way until 250K. That's going to be really exciting. Hopefully we can do something like massive for that celebration. Okay, let's get into it. So Here's one of the big ones we have. We also have this Legacy of Darkness third party uh, blister here. It has three different Legacy of Darkness packs. I actually got this from the store in Louisville with the, the biggest store ever that we did that video on. Go check that out if you missed it. It was actually a really cool store. So this is the one thing I bought there. And then we have a GX blister that has Ancient Sanctuary and Lost Millennium. Very cool. And then we got some other packs. So we're going to start with the other packs, I think. I have a Fusion Enforces to start off. Let's pull that Alistair. Let's go. Let's, let's pull out. Alistair, our guy at the very beginning, and let's get, oh, Secret Rares at the front. That's fine. Alistair's a super, I think. Summoner of Illusions. A refusion. Alistair, the Invoker. One pack magic, baby. Let's go. And a Fluffle Dog. All right. That is what I'm talking about. This is our guy. Invoked for the win. W's in the comments. If you are an Alistair fan, let's go. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. What a great start. Okay, I'm going to open one Battles of Chaos, then we'll get into our first third party product here i'm very excited for these videos these are some of my favorite videos to do if i don't have a playlist already i'm gonna make one for all the third party products we've done which has been at this point quite a lot like we have done a ton of different videos about this stuff and i always really enjoy recording them because it's old school packs it's definitely nostalgic seeing like the different formations and like ways they put the packs together back then you know they just take them and like oh yeah you get seven dollar value for 3.99 or whatever and you're like wow i spent a lot more than both of those all right and uh, the first one will be a 4.99 pack with two packs inside and these are not like the craziest packs i mean lost millennium is pretty good ancient sanctuary is like one of the worst original packs but still really cool definitely still more than 4.99 even in unlimited with our friends from vintage sports cards they were the ones who repackaged and distributed the infamous elemental hero flying wingman counterfeit card so yeah that's what they're known for okay let's open this thing up this is not going to be pretty look away if you if you don't want to see destruction of an old product look it's not an official product okay but it still hurts a little bit and i also want to mention uh if you guys are going if you, this is not necessarily a Yu-Gi-Oh announcement but if you guys are going to card party 2 in orlando it's coming up in a couple of weeks i'm gonna be there so maybe if you're a, both a pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh person you might be going you can come say hi or if you're a poker Rocks fan or something uh i will be hanging out you know chilling not i'm not gonna be a big deal there you know i'm just gonna be doing my thing so if you guys see me just come say hi or whatever i'd appreciate it be cool be cool to see some of you guys there so just come say hi to me if you guys are at card party too yeah don't be afraid I, i'm not gonna be like busy or anything i'm just gonna be hanging out like just basically there for the event and everything so if you guys want to say anything it'd be pretty cool i did see a few of you guys there at card party one last year so it's pretty cool let's go to uh light uh not light of destruction that'd be nice uh the lost millennium why can't i remember the name okay one two three four from the back can we pull an ultimate rare out of here? It'd be pretty crazy. These are usually unweighed because they're repackaged way back in the day. So it usually has good stuff or not usually, but you have a chance of good stuff. We have Grave Lore, Asa, Pinterable Formation. We have Rux and Special, Doriato's Blessing, Elemental Hero, Avian, a winged elemental hero who wheels through the sky and manipulates the wind. His signature move, Feather Break, gives villainy a blow from sky high. Gives villainy a blow from sky high. I like that. Hida and 
uh, Royal Surrender. Yeah, it gives Villainy a blow, so keep that in mind. All right, let's swap in a Phantom Nightmare pack before this next one. First edition pack, original Phantom Nightmare. And by original, I mean it came out in February or whatever, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, of course it's gonna be original. But we can't get QCRs in here, that'd be pretty cool. Magmacho Dragon, Prince of Pug, Materialization, White Aura, Aroma Healing, Time Reloader, and Psychic Arsenal, another super rare. All right, Ancient Sanctuary up next. Oh, this is first ed. Okay, not so bad after all, huh? I mean, even though it's not a great set, I mean, first edition's first edition, and we actually got all the uh, cardboard off the back of this pack too, so that's kind of nice. We can keep that wrapper. One, two, three, four. What can we get? We have Regenerating Mummy. Web and Change. Protector of the Sanctuary. Mermaid Knight. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. Emissary of the Oasis. Micro Ray and give us Dark Magic Tag Burst Stream Destruction, Enemy Controller. Or the Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. We went over on that one, but we still have eight more packs, I think, of old school. So we still got chances. Let's go back to the new stuff. Let's try Ghost from the Past, too. Look, I haven't pulled a Ghost Train in a little bit. It's been a little bit. It was one of our whatnot streams, but it's been a couple since we've pulled it. I've not pulled one for myself in quite a while. Rare Fish, we have Salaman, Great Blaze, Dragon, Vision Hero and Time Thief, and we will continue to not pull anything. That is fine. Okay, let's open a brand new Rarity Collection 2-pack. I have a few of these that I had prepared to open uh, in case we needed them to get all the cards, but we ended up getting all the cards anyway. Abyss Dweller, so now I can just open these whenever. We have Droll and Lockbird, Rescue Rabbit, the Rinderbrum, the Striking Dragon, the Hieratic Seal, Oh, Rux is special. We have a Silent Magician Ultra. We're gonna get a dud. Pressure Planet, Fusion Deployment, last pack, or last card, Calarium. Secret rare. Okay, it's a little bit of a dud on that one. Okay, let's open up this Legacy of Darkness blister that we got for 1190. No, it wasn't 1191. I think it was like 175, 100 or 75. Not 175. But it was like $75 or $100. I can't remember. So let's get this out of here. Was this or was this package by uh, Beckett Associates? Is that who packaged this? Interesting. Guaranteed to contain three Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Darkness booster packs. Thank you for telling us that. All right. Any first ads? No, all on limbs. That's okay. All right. Here we go. Can we get a Yada Garasu, Injection Fairy Lily? We've opened many LOD, but there's still some nice cards that we want that we would love to pull, especially if they're centered. We could grade them. That'd be really fun. We have Puppet Magic Dark Ruler. Gray Wing. Ready for intercepting. Nutrient Z. Serpentine Princess. Spirit Ryu. Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, we have Troop Dragon, and we have Bottomless Trap. Oh, it's a good rare. I was hoping for Royal Oppression, because that would be a really good one. Okay, back to Battles of Chaos. You are first edition. You are a couple years old at this point, which is pretty wild to think about. Three, four from the back. We have Submarine Tour Ride, Dynamorphia Shell, Monster Rebirth, Shiny, Peace Filia, Soul Sweeper, Tribe Drive, Epsilon, Dynamorphia Brute, and the zombie vampire secret rare check that out man this new angle is killing it you guys seem to like it on that first video and i've just been keeping it up ever since so i mean i'm a fan i think it looks a lot better you can really see the cards really well and that's kind of the point of the video right so very very cool let's open up uh, lod and see if we can get a really good look at a yada Garasu on the new angle how about that how about that i'd take an injection fairy lily as well i would not be mad at all about that here we go one two three four i thought i saw these some cards were damaged but i don't think they were Puppet Magic Dark Ruler, Gray Wing, Ready for Intercepting, Nutrient Z, Troop Dragon with that really great centering. We have Feng Shing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness, and Royal Oppression, Faint Plant, oh. Array of Revealing Light. Oh, we got Warrior Digreffer in there, straight chilling. Okay, I also brought some Rarity Collection 1 for this video, so. Let's try that out. Rarity Collection 1, huh? One from the back. Only five cards in here, but some crazy stuff potentially. Baron de Flu. Junk Speeder. Fairy Tale Luna. And a Shadal Schism. Okay. Legacy of Darkness. The new stuff has pulled all of our cards, but there hasn't been really that many, that many pulls to speak of so far. It's been a little bit sparse, you could say. One, two, three, four. We've got Nutrient Z. Warrior Digreffer. No dragon dwelling in the cave. Spirit's invitation. Come on, Legacy of Dark. Come on, don't let me down. Well, I keep forgetting what that store was called, but don't let me down. Louisville store. That's really big. Fushino Tori. Give me a good pull out of one of these three packs. Robo Lady. Oh, 
fatal abacus. Okay, that was fatal for sure. Okay, that was painful. Okay, okay, I'm not feeling great right now. We need something big to turn this thing around. We still have one more third party box. It has five packs inside, so good chances in there. Battles of K, our power of uh, power of the elements, not battles of chaos. You can give us the DPE starlight. That would make me happy. Okay, if you want to make me happy, just give me DPE starlight. Here we go. That's not it. Albaz the Ashen. That's not even close, actually. Not only is it not DPE, it's not a Starlight. So big bummer. Let's open up this really cool box. This is the one. $19 plus value for only $9.99. So wow, what a steal. Really great. Five factory sealed packs. You can see some of them in there. Ancient Sanctuary and Rise of Destiny. Hopefully the others are a little bit more exciting than those two, but we'll find out. All right, here's the box. Uh, I don't know how we're going to reveal this. So uh, there's $9.99 on the thing as well. How are we going to do this? I don't think you can pull. I guess we're just going to see what's inside. Here we go. That is that magic ruler right there. That might be magic or spell ruler. That's good. Oh, elemental energy. OK, OK. And tactical evolution. All right. That's definitely decent. Tactical evolution. First edition. Let's go. First ad rise of destiny. Beautiful. Unlimited elemental energy. OK, first ad power of the duelist and unlimited ancient sanctuary. OK, not a bad selection, though. Three first ads. Three like really solid packs and then two decent. Oh, I think Ancient Sanctuary is going to go first because not only is it on limb, but it's the worst of the five packs here. So I think that's an easy choice for it to go first. Oh, this pack is getting ripped up. All right, let's oh, that one's kind of destroyed. I'm going to get rid of that. OK, one, two, three, four from the back with Mermaid Knight. Come on, give us something big. Ninjutsu art, arcane archer of the forest, rocks and special dust barrier, earthquake, Pharaoh servant. I wish we had a Pharaoh servant pack. Piranha army. Human wave tactics, and here we go. Here's our rare, potentially, spell economics. Well, it's always a rare, but it's either a rare, super rare, you know, etc. It's just a regular rare, unfortunately. You know what could be cool is a regular ghost rare. How about that, huh? Anybody? Regular ghost rare, could be fun. Two from the back. We've got number 60, just got a reprint, rarity collection too. We have zombie vamp, zombie takeover, sorry, edition. We have Ashuna, a little bit of a shift of name there, and galaxy soldiers. So yeah, ghosts from the past two. It's just ghost or bust at this point. Okay, let's do, I guess, Elemental Energy because it's not first ed, even though it is an amazing pack. But we'll do that first because it's on limb. Can we pull something big out of here? This has been, I mean, look, third party openings are fun. It's been fun so far, but we have not gotten a hit out of any of the old packs. I was like, yeah, they might, they're on weight when you do that. And guess what? I jinxed myself. They're on weight when you do that. Nano Breaker. I sound like a, a bird on like an anime or something. We have a uh, nomenclature, Hida. It's Will of Cyber. It's Will. Area, we have Catapult, Bonding H2O, Scar, Scout of Dark World, and here we go, Elements of Energy. Please give us a Shining Flare Wingman, Unlimited. I don't care if it's an Ultra, I'd be fine with that. Some other good ones I like in here, here we go. Orbron, Mad King of Dark World Rare. That is not quite as exciting. Okay, um, okay, okay, okay. Power of the Elements. Look, you remember what I said? To make me happy, DP Starlight. Here we go, one, two, three, four, let's go. Brilliant Rose, Double Dust Tornado Twins, Propagand Drake, Gote, Depths, Expulsion, Vernus Lift, Digi Jamming, and Sprite Jet. Okay. This is not, not really going off. It's not really going our way. Okay, we got five total packs left. We got Rarity Collection 1 and 2, and then we've got these three. So there's a lot of potential here. Let's just get something cool, like something cool. I think I'm going to say I'm going to do Rise of Destiny first. A, a creator... Perfect Machine King ultis. I mean, those are the huge hits. I've never pulled those. Uh, I don't think. Even in box breaks, I don't think. We've only done Rise of Destiny one, maybe twice as a box break. I've opened one box. Okay, that is a big damage card. I don't remember how many boxes I've damaged. Or, not damaged. I don't remember how many boxes I've opened for myself, but I just Ultra Rux and Special to, to the Dekoichi. That's the rare. Okay. I'm really falling apart here. Element Source. Dekoichi is a great card. That ulti would have been cool. Raging Flame Sprite and Zing Zen Hu. Okay. I gotta stop chatting and pay attention, okay? All right, rarity two. Let's go. Give us something big right here. We have uh, Fantastic Dragon Phantasme, Solemn Judgment, Twin Twisters, Polymerization. Let's not get a dud pack. Phantom Knights, Droll Lockbird, Mind Control, 
TG Hyper Librarian. That's nice. And a super nimble Mega Hamster. Very, very cool. I'll take that. So honestly, we got something. I'll take it. It's not the worst. The nimble Mega Hamster could go in the Edison box. So it's something. I'll take it. Let's save Tactical Evolution for last. I I'm guessing this is retail. This one does not have retail. I mean, it still can get a ghost either way. So we're going to save that one for last. Let's do Power of the Duelist. Uh, even if this is retail, I would love a future fusion ulti. That'd be really cool. We've got a common soul. Ambulance Roid. Fake Hero, Black Stego, Ruxin Special, Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, Synthetic Seraphim, Black Terra, and come on, baby, give us something. It's a Destiny Hero Dasher. Used to be a $20 rare. Used to be. When our boy DPE was out raking havoc. Raking havoc? Reeking havoc? Wrecking havoc? It's a... It's something. All right, Rarity One. Come on. We are we are struggling today. We need something big. Here we go, Rarity One. QCR, Ash Blossom. Harold, let's go. Dimension Shifter. Rota, that, that's, I think that's where it would have been. Oh, Magician Salvation Collector, and okay, we got something. We got a Salvation Collector, which you can see much better at the new angle. Beautiful. Check out that Collector Rare. That's really when I think I noticed that the, I was like, man, this angle looks way better. The Collector Rares, you can actually see them. Okay, last pack magic, guys. We got Tactical Evolution First Edition. Ghost Rare, please. If this came out of a third party box, I mean, my goodness, that would be insane. I mean, I'll take Elemental Hero Dark Ride Boom Ultimate Rare. That'd be pretty cool. One, two, three. This has got to be four, right? It's got to be four. <sighs> okay, just in case I was a ghost rare, I was like <laughs> putting the suspense up. All right, reverse of Neos. We have Gravitic Orb. Ambush Fangs. Come on, baby. Ringe Gate Cuber Dark World. Give us something huge right here. Last pack match. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com for uh, some cool stuff there. Okay, next. Crystal's Larva. Venom Burn. Come on. Is this the last card? Three, six. No, we have another one. We have Venom Serpent, and here we go. Come on, Ghostly, Ghost Rare, or Elemental Hero Dark Bride. Boom, here we go. Last card of the third party blister. Grass Chopper. Okay, those were pretty brutal for those third party blisters. You know, they are random packs, and as I say about, I love random packs, because you can get nothing, or you can get a lot. So we got nothing this time. That's okay because it was a fun time and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more of these, I'm making a playlist. I'm gonna hopefully put it on the screen. If I don't, just go to my playlist tab on my channel and it'll be like third-party blister openings or third, no, third-party product openings. There'll be a bunch of them there if you haven't seen them. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nana Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Cheng Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.